Okay, so today here is my new vacuum imaging. It's in one four. This pretty new vacuum engine. It's the longest ever inline four vacuum engine. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And it's got seven hundred and seventy cc, uh, almost zero point eight liter of displacement, and I'm using those because it's really cold. It's got a three L, uh, three stud stroke. Uh, sorry, it has a three stud long crankshaft. It's a brick built crankshaft. Eight, eight by eight piston. Um, butterfly pistons. I have performance valves with edge double timing and uh, edge double throttle. So let's just right get into the pistons. I'll show you how the pistons are. I just take out my glove so I can take out this easily. But it's better. So here you can see the engine. Also, the engine is damn smooth. I'm just rotating the two fingers. Uh, as these butterfly pistons really help with the friction. And so, uh, also, it has a, be a ball bearing over here. The bearing is this one. It got a very sturdy case, and we got this. Uh, I saw the timing. You just slide this, the 16 gear to the side, and then you can adjust the, adjust the, uh, just the timing. I will just not demonstrate because this configuration here is really good, and I don't want to lose this configuration. And uh, it also uses a two vacuum setup because uh, it's really, really big. And uh, I wasn't really sure it, if it would work with just one vacuum. And then we have our throttle, as you can see. And this engine, actually, the idea started to make such a big engine was last year with a one cylinder uh, dual cam overhead cam uh, setup last year it was an 8x8 actually the first was 10x10 10 10, then 8x8 8 8 piston for stud uh, crankshaft and it, it didn't work but I kept upgrading and all the components here are not uh, first tries. The crankshaft is in its third generation, actually a facelift, so uh, 3.5. Uh, the bearing with its case, it's really hard to disassemble this. It's really got some really sturdy. It's in its third generation. Uh, the supports and everything to make the engine sturdy. Second generation, block. Second generation, pistons. Second generation and throttle, first point five generation. It was just upgraded to make the Edo uh, little slower, so it's like more like a diesel. And it's really really smooth. It's got a lot of torque. I didn't measure the rotations per minute yet, but with just the test with just two cylinder, I got seven hundred and twenty RPM. But it's kind of slower, uh, so I, since I haven't made some more tests to make it faster running on four cylinder, but it might be running on something like 500, 400 uh, RPM on the full throttle, and either might, might be something around 100 RPM. And... Uh, Again, it's so smooth, it's really satisfying to rotate this. We have a cross plane crankshaft over here. The flat plane wouldn't work so well. Uh, it also self starting. It doesn't need, I would like to put the starter motor. But since I turn on the two vacuum, 
Uh, it already starts and I don't even need to crank it. Uh, this engine is also really heavy. It weighs 1.2 kilo, but it's really sturdy. As you can see, it won't uh, destroy because uh, uh, I've improved everything to make it the most sturdy as possible. So this boy is really, really good. Let's just run this boy. Let's start it. Uh, I'll just let uh, the camera a little lower so you can see actually the engine, not me. Okay, let's start this too. <laughs> self-start and that's everything for today oh. this piece here uh, just is fine let me fix that and perfect that's all for today I hope you enjoyed Subscribe to Need for Breaks and bye bye. See you next time.